Today I'm going to show you what is the Sonora floor plan. It is a listing of ours now in Circle C. We'll tell you about Circle C as well. But this was it is now built with Lennar. It was initially built with Village Builders. This is the Sonora floor plan. This is nice as the four bedroom, two and a half bath. So we'll show you that. I'm going to show you the one thing I don't like about this house. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we walk into this floor plan. Again, this is a Sonora floor plan. This was a Village Builders floor plan, now Lennar. What you'll notice right when you walk in the door, decent size entry. So, you know, not a narrow entry, but definitely a good size entry. Right when you walk into the left right here, so one of my favorite things about the floor plan is that it actually has a good size office. And in a second, I'm gonna show you there's more storage in here as well. So the sellers on this put in really nice plantation shutters that you'll see on the windows. And this has wood tile floors throughout the downstairs. So this, the master bedroom, the living room all have this nice wood tile, great size room. Definitely a good spot for an office. You could, you could convert this to a fourth bedroom if you want. I've seen other, or a fifth bedroom. I've seen other floor plans where they have converted this and made this into a bedroom here. But this closet probably isn't big enough for you know clothes, so that's why it's dedicated office space. Now I've seen also where they've blown out this wall here and actually made this a shower under there. So the bathroom that's on the other side here is a full shower. It's something you could do if you wanted to. So you have the office there. Now you're stepping in to the front half bath. This is great because your guests are gonna be able to use this half bath. Now if you have Overnight guests, they probably wouldn't use this as a full bath, obviously. So you're gonna have the upstairs full bath, which we'll show you in a second. And we gotta show you the master bath because I really, really enjoy the master bath. Upstairs is the one thing that I just don't care for in this floor plan that they chose for this specific home. And we'll show that to you. But overall, I like that you have a really good size half bath down here. So good size ceiling space in here. These are 10 to 12 foot ceilings. So really good size ceiling space in here. So you have the stairs to the left here, the kitchen to the right. So upstairs there's gonna be three additional bedrooms. Plus you have a really big game room, which I'm really excited to show you the game room. We'll show you that in a second. Now I do have staged photos of this property. Let me show you what this looks like staged. Here we go. So here's a really good shot of the living room. So you'd have a dining room on one side, living on the other. So this is another good shot and give you an idea of what it would look like into the kitchen. So this is a dining room area to the left, your living room further out, and then your kitchen shot right here. Really nice wide open overall space though from the kitchen to the living room space. And I love the island that they have here. It's a really, really good size island and this kitchen flows really, really well. You'll see that there's a pantry here and then also your laundry is off to the uh, right behind me here. Great size like cabinet space here. So you're gonna get a good size amount of cabinets. What are your thoughts on the backsplash here? It kind of brings in the, the brown of the cabinets and the white of the countertop. I think it looks really good. I've also seen this in gray variations. Do you think a gray variation would be better? Definitely let me know. Stainless appliances, stainless range hood. The fridge on this property does convey. It does have an undermount trash can right here, which is pretty nice. So you have two little spots for trash cans there. In a second, I'm gonna show you the garage. There's so many other features that I also wanna show you in this house. So definitely stick around for that. I love how the wood floors flow right there. Okay, so here's the garage. I'm gonna pop open the garage so you can see it. There's some stuff in here, obviously, that is still needs to get moved out, but this is a great size garage. There's a two-car garage in here. I'm gonna flip around so you can see the other side as well. Good size space. Oh yeah, open house signs are in here because we are gonna do some open houses, so definitely come check out the open house. All right, real quick, I'm gonna tell you about Circle C right before we get back into the house. So Circle C is a great community. There's lots of parks, Circle C Park. There's lots of things to do in Circle C. 
good food close by. Plus, it's only about 10, 15 minutes to downtown. Here is the pool that you have here in Gray Rock Ridge. There's four pools overall in Circle C, but this is the one right down at the end of the street, actually, that you have here. So here's a good shot of the neighborhood. It's a great size shot. You have 45 that kind of elbows this, which gives you a nice quick shot to downtown. Also into Buda. You'll just notice how much greenery is in this Southwest Austin plus trails. So this trail will actually take you all the way to downtown. It'll take you into the Circle C Park and there's lots of food options right here. So this is just a great spot. Circle C has some of the best schools also. All the schools are rated A's. You have the Draft House right here, Alamo Draft House right down the street, great movie theater. And it's only about 15 minutes to downtown. Let's get back into the house though. You wanna see the house. So as we come back in the house, obviously we're still looking at the kitchen. We're gonna end up making our way into the backyard here in a second and into the master bedroom. But I wanna show you some more fun stuff that's here. I like that these are soft closed drawers. That one didn't go as well. A little bit better there, soft closed drawers. Here's a pantry, great size pantry. Laundry room is down here as well. I like that there's cabinet space in this. Plus they added that nice countertop in here. So you get cabinets, you get counter space, and you get your washer dryer set up in here. All right, let's head back into the living room. Again, so you'd put your dining room here under that little um, light there or fixture. As I step back, this is a good size living space. Now, I feel like the camera doesn't really show you. So maybe you should just schedule a showing and come actually see this. And oh yeah, you're wondering what the price is on this. This is actually listed at 834. A lot of homes in this neighborhood have sold recently in the 900s. So you're getting a really good price on this. And okay, master down there, right behind that wall there. Uh, this does have really good views of the backyard. Now, some of the backyards in this neighborhood are really big. Some of them are small. This one's more of on the medium size. So you do get that here. Yeah, let's go check out some more fun stuff though. Come on. I feel like this floor plan looks darker and my camera's just not doing it justice, but there's lots of natural light because you're seeing all these windows. In fact, those are all upgraded window fixtures that my client put in as well. One thing you're gonna love out here is the outdoor patio. I like how it's got an A-frame patio out here. And look, if you're gonna buy in Texas, you definitely want a covered patio. Now this property faces north, so you get good east to west sun all day. So great, great sun out here. And that's why you're gonna get lots of natural light on this home as well. This is a good size backyard. Now, if some of the complaints I've had people tell me is they didn't like this backyard, but you do get some privacy with these big trees. And over back here in the corner, there's actually a spot that you can put, you know, a, a spot, to, like a cot to hang out here. There's some good size space on the sides here as well. So you could put some, you know, maybe a small utility over there and on the other side as well. But overall, it's still a good size. I'm, I'm standing in the middle of the yard, not even up against the fence, and you still have quite a bit of yard space here. All right, we're gonna step back in, and I also wanna show you the master bedroom, I'll show you what it looks like staged, show you the, the closet space in here, show you the uh, laundry as well, or sorry, not the laundry, I showed you that, showed you the master bedroom as well. Yeah, I'm just having fun over here today. Are you having fun? Drop a comment if you're actually having fun. If you want me to shut up, just drop a comment. Jeremy, be quiet. Okay, here's the master bedroom. Let me show you what it looks like staged. Here we go. I really like the bay window on this master bedroom. I feel like it really does open it up and give you more space. So that's what it looks like staged. Overall, I think this is just a really good size master bedroom. And as we will step into the uh, laundry room, or sorry, I keep saying that, the master bathroom, you're gonna see how big this actually is. I'm gonna shut up for a second before we get in the master bedroom, or for the master, I'm just gonna shut up.
A little bit dirty windows, but you can see outside here. All right, let's go step in the master bathroom because I really like this shower setup. Now, some people want a tub in here. Some people don't. I like how you have one of the vanities on this side. I'm, I'm really liking this. And then you have one of the vanities on the other side. Here we go. There's me sweating for you getting these videos out on a daily basis. You better subscribe because I put a lot of time and energy in all these videos. So I really appreciate everybody that does watch these videos. Okay. So you have your other vanity there. I like how big this shower is. I feel like it's a really, really great space. And like you got the closet back here, the water closet right behind this. I feel like the camera is just not giving it the right feel for this as far as like the, the color concept goes. The, the floor is really not green. It's more of a grayish color. For whatever reason, the color is just not coming out. But I like the bench here. What do you think about the shower and the bench? Would you prefer to have in here in a, like a half tub or a tub, something like that? You tell me, drop a comment below. Of course, I gotta show you this, the throne. Okay, and I'm gonna show you in the closet too. The closet's a little more important than this, but you're probably gonna spend some time in here, so that's what I like to show you, of course. If you're gonna spend time in there, you gotta like it, right? Oh, Jeremy. If you've made it this far, please say, yes, Jeremy, we're still listening to you. <laughs> Good size closet here. Would you think this should be bigger? For a master closet, do you think that's too small of a closet? Or do you think it's the perfect size? You tell me. I'm always a fan of really big master closets, or I mean, can we even say the word master closets anymore? Who knows? If we can, drop a comment below. If we can, if we can't, and I'll stop saying it. But main closet, master closet. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go head upstairs and see what upstairs has to offer because I think you're gonna like the game room. There's Remember, there's one thing I told you I don't like about this house and it is upstairs. We will see it in a second but let's pop upstairs and check it out. Okay, as we come upstairs, you're gonna see how big this game room is. In a second, I'll show you what it looks like staged. This is a gigantic game room, and this is what a lot of people love, love, love about this floor plan, is this extra flex space. It's curious, because there's a closet there, and there's a closet on the other side, so you do get two little small closets up here, which are great if you wanna store games, all that fun stuff. Uh, there's attic access right there, if you wanna go check out the attic, water heater, you know, AC unit, all that fun stuff. But you have lots of space in there for games. And then you have, there's a window in this little game room, or not game room, but in this little uh, unit here. So look, so you got more spot for games, maybe put your AV stuff there for a big screen in here. And it's got a little window. I feel like this, this upstairs, I mean, you tell me, is this upstairs, flex space big enough small enough here let me show you what it looks like staged so there you go fully staged looks great good size okay i want to show you the bedrooms that are over here too because I, I did tell you there's three additional bedrooms so i want to show you that here in a second and then i want to show you the one thing i absolutely just don't like about this floor plan i think it's been the feedback from some of the people that have looked at it so here we go it's just on the other side of this wall Oh yeah, by the way, lots of natural light up here still. And I love that in this neighborhood, a lot of the trees were saved. Some builders go and cut down all the trees as you saw in the backyard and the front yard, lots of natural trees, lots of green space here in, you know, in Circle C in general, but this is Gray Rock Ridge, a little enclave in Gray Rock or in Circle C. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the closet. This is the front bedroom. Whatever, for whatever reason, we've not been able to get that stain out of the carpet there. So if this house is something you like, Definitely, definitely don't be afraid of that stain. We could definitely change out these carpets up in this one room if you don't like it. But overall, really, really good size room up here for a front bedroom. Now I'm standing against the wall, but there's definitely a lot of good flex space up here. Let me show you the closet, because the closet's great size.
Good size closet. Come on, Jeremy, go faster. Let's go see the rest of the house. If you've made it this far, so yep, we've made it this far twice. Shut up, Jeremy. <laughs> We're having fun on this channel. If you don't know, I have another channel as well where I talk about the market a little bit more, so you can check me out on that channel. So here's the third of the four bedrooms. This is also a good size room up here, so all of your rooms are gonna kinda be on this one side with your game room on the other side. Let me go show you the closet in here as well. For whatever reason, I like to show you the closets and all the fun stuff and play peekaboo with some of this stuff. There we go, made it in the closet. Okay, let's go check out the last bedroom and then the one thing I just don't like about this house. All right, here's the linen closet in the hallway. Good size linen closet, perfect for all your linen needs. Okay, getting close to the one thing I don't like about this house. Oh, I'm gonna show it to you first here, look at this. So this is the upstairs bathroom. Now they converted the, I'll show you in a second, but they converted this shower, paid to convert this shower from a shower with a tub to a stand-up shower. Now, while I love the stand-up shower, that did take out the option to have a half bath or a bath feature in this house. And so that's one of the been one of the complaints for people is this shower right here. They don't like that they did a full shower. They would prefer to have this as the shower tub combo. What do you think? Is this a negative or is this a positive? Are you in your spot in your life, you don't really care about the half tub? You definitely let me know because it's been, some people don't love like it, some people do love it. Let me go show you the last bedroom. Good, they, they did actually did a really good tile choice up here. I like the tile. Okay, let's show you the last bedroom. All right, so this is the last bedroom in the house. There's the closet. Look, if you are looking in Circle C, or if you're looking for an agent that really does put a lot of time in to help their clients and make things happen, definitely reach out to us the Night Group. We are a husband and wife real estate team. I do all the fun stuff, which is the video content, but I help a lot of buyers, sellers, and my wife is fantastic. She is a negotiating bulldog, so reach out to us. Catch you next video.